I think there are two or three things that can be effective. One is documentation. It's important for everyone working in the field who has real knowledge in this area to find a way to share it uh, together with each other. Another is uh, training and capacity building, which is possible especially through new media and uh, the possibility of, doing, of using Skype and online courses and things like that, which uh, UNESCO and the other training institutions in the field have been very active doing. And then I think there are windows of opportunity when things calm down enough that it's possible to help people on the ground. We developed a program uh, together with the Getty Conservation Institute. It's a database program called ARCHES, which was intended uh, specifically for the inventory of monuments and sites. Uh, and the, the project began when we were trying to help the Iraqi government uh, develop an inventory system. And we realized immediately that there was a wider potential and a wider use for this. So we've made it available. Uh, it's all built on open source software. There are no licenses. There are no direct costs involved in acquiring the system, and anyone can download it from our websites. So we would hope that this would be a new chapter in the history of inventory of uh, cultural heritage. I think it's really important to support the professional establishment in the field and to give them the confidence that people outside the country care about what's happening. And it's, it's, it's an insurmountable battle for them, but uh, just knowing that they have uh, people with, with common values uh, backing them, I think it's a very important psychological.